kind of bit like the pruner actually, in that we only we have one, one block of the ring, which is actually through the back here, so very close to the Riesling. And I must say, I mean, I, I was a little bit frightened at the prospect of making a, a Gruner in the Aotearoa Valley, being so cool, and in my experience with Pyongyang being a very warm climate to make a big, fat, fleshy, apricot, peachy things. Mm. Um, but Peter did, he did plant that Pyongyang in probably the warmest spot of the vineyard, so very much the most sheltered, um, if, if we can call it warm, it, it is, it's the warmest spot of the vineyard, so um, we do get some lovely ripeness in there, I mean I guess it's less of that sort of, you know, apricot -y, dense, rich thing, a little bit more fleshy white peach, um, depending on how the vintage rolls, I mean some years where we've had Say issues with rain later. I mean, this, this is the last white that comes in, it's the last white variety. Hang it out for as long as possible. Um, but some years we might have had a rain. Um, I've had to harvest it earlier than I would have liked to. So usually I make quite a sort of just a light, fresh, fruity wine. Um, last year, fortunately, it was cooler, but like with the soda, we could just hang that fruit right out. So it was harvested about the 10th of May, which is really late. Um, basically what we do, we go through and we just hand harvest all the ripe bunches, because there are a lot of greener bunches within the canopy. So it's probably the most expensive wine to make, I think, <laughs> the wine that gives Peter Evans the most headache really. But um, hand harvest the ripe bunches into the winery. Um, it's had a little bit of oak work as well. Um, about 40% of the blend has been an old oak, also gone through malolactic fermentation. And the balance has been in, in stainless steel tank and has had Lee's work. Um, you should see how this wine actually ages. It's still looking, it's looking a little bit tight on the finish there. It's just been bottled. Um, but I think it also has some nice typicity of the variety um, with that kind of sea view touch and the purity of fruit and the acidity. That's a really nice.